So I'm assuming you guys have changed the tire before, right? Say yes, please, say yes. So I got the new wheel on, the old tires. First thing you do with any kind of tire maintenance is you let the air out. Always, always, always. Always. The next thing is you take the snap ring out, all the other hardware that's in the middle of the bearing, take those out. Then you can take these uh, bolts out of the wheel, pull the wheel apart, change the tube, change the tire, change both, whatever. Or in this case, change the wheel. So we took all of the old wheels out and put in the new one. So what you're left over with is a big box of parts. And here's how the uh, wheels look without the tire and the uh, tube. They're just clamshells put together. You, know, you got the outer and the inner. This is the brake side over here. And you know, you know, whenever you're changing a tire and you have these apart, always look for cracks. Clean them well and look for cracks. You'd be surprised what you find. So you got these. You just got a box full of parts, the old brake mount, master cylinder for the brakes. Another tip that might be helpful is whenever you have a wheel apart, always inspect it. Always inspect the, the entire assembly for cracks, wear and tear. You know, <clears throat> look around the axle, look around the uh, anchor, the points where the bolts go in, just clean it very well and get out a magnifying glass and look for cracks. One of the problems you get with these uh, old uh, drum style brakes is it's a booger to find parts. They become very, it becomes very problematic to find parts. So that was one of the reasons I made a change. Then what you're left with, brand new wheel, brand new bearings, new rotor, looking good. And now we can put it on the airplane. The next step's more or less just like reassembling any other brake assembly. You put the back plate on, then you torque it to 90 inch pounds, grease it, Slip the tire back on. Complain about old age. Put our spacer on. Put the wheel nut on. Put the cotter pin in, and this side is ready. Caliper goes on. The only thing is left is to put the brake fluid in, purge the system of air, and it's done. <sighs> Another job done for the tri-pacer. Hey, you know, it, do me a big solid here. I, I really want you guys to do this. If you like the video, please hit the thumbs up. Click it, click it, click it. It really helps the channel out. Uh, the more likes I get, uh, the more things I can do with the channel, the more educational videos for uh, aircraft maintenance I can put up, more content I can put up. It really, really does help. And if you really want to go out of your way, hit the subscribe button. If you, if you think it, you know what I'm put doing is interesting, please uh, support the channel. Hit the subscribe button. I won't charge you. It's free this week. 
This is our second week of uh, free uh, sub subscription, so just hit the subscribe button. You will not be charged. We won't send you to PayPal. It'll be awesome, and it's free. It's all your subscription. If you do it now, your subscription will always be free. If you have any questions about this procedure, uh, about the STC I just did, uh, please leave those in the comments. Leave those in the comments. I'll get around to answering all of them. Um, oh, look, airplane. That was kind of awesome. It's, again, I get no work done here. I get no work done. There's airplanes here. How does anybody expect to get any work done? <laughs> but in the meantime, y'all fly safe.